Hello, this is David with Shepherd's Loft, uh, owned by Bright Mill. And today we're talking about how to prepare for WordPress hosting. And so you just know that any of the websites that we look at today, that you know we don't own those websites and we can't be responsible for any of the results that they yield. So just a little common sense there. Uh, so these are house rules. Um, just remove the distractions and kind of you know just you know, focus in on on what you want to do with your website um, so grab your favorite beverage and uh, maybe make, grab a pen and paper and make some notes so this is my promise that in this webinar uh, you will have uh, a simple WordPress hosting evaluation system um, to be able to figure out where your business is where your where your online assets are and this evaluation has helped dozens of businesses uh, be successful so this will increase your chances of completing your website and making sound decisions uh, economical and both secure decisions about your WordPress hosting you will learn how to look up your domain name registrar and what what DNS management is uh, you also learn how to look up uh, your web website email records and then we're gonna talk about managed WordPress hosting so and don't forget to stay till the end uh, for the special bonus and then we'll also have um, um, some great information there for you so <clears throat> so why WordPress well WordPress makes up 25% of all the websites in the world um, other website systems fail um, so I would like to give you um, I found a nice little article about six reasons why websites fail so I want to show you that article uh, six reasons your website fail you know here's the first reason down here they're just not built right um, a lot of the websites are still running old technology 93% of small business websites are not mobile compatible that's that's almost completely uh, unpractical there's no way that you can run your business uh, I believe um, mobile is going to be pushing 50% uh, of your audience next year is going to be mobile compatible so that that's a killer just even if we don't go any further this is an absolute killer for your business you need to be mobile compatible uh, the second thing is uh, social media um, you know there are companies that you know a lot of um, local businesses just have a Facebook page um, at least that's something at least they're covering the social media aspect of it but I always recommend that you try to get uh, you cover your bases when you're trying to build your online presence but 80 percent of the small business websites have no social media links um, we just got to do better than that um, 74 percent uh, websites lack an email link or home page for consumers I mean if you just have a button that links to a contact page well and that's number four you know a lot of you know 65 percent um, don't have a form to fill out um, this is essential you don't want to expose your email address on your website um, for all the the robots to grab and send you a whole bunch of spam you really want to have a form on there that protects your email address from getting spammed um, and gives your your customers a way to contact you um, and you can see number five there is just having a, a phone number that's prominent on your website maybe in your footer or your header of the website on every page um, and then you know 56 percent of the small business struggle with SEO and there's some very basic things that you can do it's not rocket science it's very easy um, just so that you can get out there and get listed So let me skip back down to where I was. So, you know, the security is the security is key. You know, keeping your website clean. Um, the support is paramount. Um, you, you've got to have a peace of mind that the, there's somebody there that can answer your questions and who you can go to. Knowing who to go to and knowing that they can answer your questions is gives you a a, a real nice sense of okay I really can do this I can have an online presence and build my business 
And then something else that's, that's kind of new is license management. There are so many uh, plugins and themes and tools, and there are lots of great and awesome tools that you can plug into your website to be able to do these marketing aspects. Um, but it takes time to keep track of all those things. And, and so that's a, a kind of a new part of managed hosting that we can look at. Shippers Loft has been helping clients for over 15 years with their web presence. Uh, we've had hundreds of small business owners. Uh, we're the only company that services small business with fully managed WordPress hosting. Like I said, the licenses key is a whole new thing, um, and it can get complicated. You know, when you when you buy bundled products, um, sometimes your updates don't happen, and it really kind of so one piece goes bad, then the whole thing is bad, and you don't want that. So, and we're act actively involved in the WordPress community. Uh, we're producing daily um, how-to videos on YouTube. Um, and we're, we're just trying to educate um, people with the best practices on WordPress. So here's a story about a small business. Um, they knew they needed a website, but they didn't know where to begin. Uh, they talked to all their friends and family, and but no one's, you know, end of the day, it's your business. It's what you care about. Um, and, you know, other people are, are not... Uh, you know, they're not involved as much or they're not as concerned as much as you would be. So it's really hard to find that help, that trusted help when you need it. Um, so the realization is that they had to hire an expert um, to get their website completed. You know, sometimes this can be pretty costly. So it's important to know at least the fundamentals and the basics of what, you know, what they needed to do. So here's the journey. They need. They had to find someone they could trust and who cared about the success of their business, um, and was also sensitive to their wallets. So they did a little research, and you know they registered domain name. They found out WordPress was was the most dominant uh, content management system on the planet. Um, so they knew that that's what they needed to use. So they got their business back on track, and they were communicating with their customers, um, and that made their customers happy. Then the sharing began, you know, through social media, they began to tell others about their business and what was going on. And the biggest business really started seeing some results. You know, so we want to help small businesses. And this is where the partnership comes into play. Um, I've devoted my career to helping small businesses use WordPress for communication and marketing purposes. Um, I've helped hundreds of people um, grow their small business, and I can help you with yours. So just imagine this success, the financial independence, uh, flexible schedule. Um, if there's one thing that I've learned that I can make or break your success, I will get to that a little bit, a little bit later. Now is the time because you need your website running smoothly. Um, you want the results our solutions have to offer because all small business owners constantly fight technology barriers to get their online presence running smoothly. Um, and, you know, hackers are creating new spyware and malware programs every second with, you know, infecting thousands, you know, five to 10,000, you know, WordPress websites um, every day. Um, and yours could be next. Step one, knowledge transfer. You know, so... Uh, you you want to be able you need to look up your website. So who is information? Um, you want to know. So let me show you how to do a who is lookup. So one of the one of the uh, websites I use uh, just to do a who is lookup because I know where the link is. It's down here in the bottom. It's networksolutions.com. And you're under resources right here, who is search. You can click on that. And you see the little box here. You can type in your domain name. And just click the search button. So this is really important. So maybe you registered the domain, um, and you you don't you forgot where it was registered, or you forgot when it's going to expire. 
Um, so this is a really helpful little tool just to look up this information. Um, you can see my domain name is here. Um, uh, it registered expiration date. Okay, so it expires um, on the the second of September in 2016. So there's the information that I need, and I also can tell what my registrar email address is. Um, it's the accounting at shepherdsloft.com down here. Um, so that's really important to know in case I wanted to, I lost my password or something like that. I can know where the information is going to go, and that happens a lot. So that's a real simple process to to be able to go to NetworkSolutions.com, look up your Whois information, know when your domain is going to expire, you know when it's going to renew, and know what your email address is to be able to recover if you've lost your information. So what is DNS? DNS is Domain Name System. You know, and that translates your domain name, domain name, which is easy to use, remember, like Shepherd's Loft, that's easy to remember, um, but it may not uh, be easy for, you know, you, you wouldn't remember your IP address, you know, so just imagine if you had your phone number was twice as long, you know, it's, you don't want to go ahead, you know, you can't make everybody remember your phone number to get to your website address, a, a name is much easier. So, uh, that address is needed for the purposes of the computers and the devices worldwide. So now that you have a DNS, domain name system, you know what that is, there's also management of that system. So the DNS management is when the user's control of the DNS, uh, allowing the domain name owner to control which computer or server has the email or website information. So you can uh, shepherdsloft.com it can po point to a a hosting provider in California or it can point to one in Chicago you know so by going in there and changing the name server for those for that provider in those locations it's it's able to reroute all the traffic on the internet for my that punch in my website address my domain name to that location So here's kind of a little graph that I try to draw to kind of explain or show what that what that how that works. Um, so in the DNS management, uh, you register your domain, and then by changing your name server, you can control different aspects aspects of your hosting. Um, so the different aspects are one is your email. Uh, your email hosting can be on a completely different computer than your website hosting. So, so maybe your email is hosted in California and your website is hosted in Chicago. Well, then you can also have some, uh, you know, and then, and then out to the side you also have C names. C names are kind of like aliases. WW dot is an alias for just shepherdsloft.com. So you can type in shepherdsloft.com or WW dot shepherdsloft.com and get to my website hosting. But if you typed in mail dot shepherdsloft.com then it would take me to my email hosting so that's how C names work they're kinda like a little alias to, or a shortcut to help you get to the the, the hosting uh, or location that, that you want to get to so the website hosting those those records are referred to as a records or also known as an HTTP lookup and then also your so your email it uses MX records, MX for mail, MX records. So you can be registered with one provider um, and you can put a, do a domain name, a name server in there and then you can manage your hosting which is actually not on this chart, you can manage your hosting at a separate place and then you could have it, you could have that DNS management point to a third location being your website hosting and a fourth location for your email hosting. So you really can divide your DNS management uh, into f as many as four different providers. You know, and it even goes beyond that when you get into redundancy. So our next uh, next topic here is just how to look up your 
your host records. You know, so this is really important. So maybe you registered a domain and uh, you, you don't remember where your email is being hosted or where your websites, or maybe you're in the process of transferring and you want to be able to verify, you know, which provider has your services. So let's go over looking how to look up C names uh, and A records. Okay, so first we're going to do a little MX record lookup. So the MX record again is my email hosting provider. So I'm using mxtoolbox.com, which is one of my favorite tools. Oh, okay, we're still um, thinking. Okay, here it comes. And we can see that um, our mail records are on serverdata.net. You know, so it says your email service provider is Intermedia. So instantly I know that my email is being hosted over here by this provider. And if I have a problem with my email, I can contact that provider. So let's also, there's a little drop down here on the right, and we can go even a little further and we can look up um, an HTTP lookup which this would be my website hosting so once you select it then you have to click it and you'll see the little gear turn so now it's going to tell me you know what kind of server I'm running Apache um, connection there and then you know then I also can do these other options down here so here's a who is lookup as well there's a DNS check and a, name, a DNS lookup. So I'm going to check out this. Um, the DNS lookup shows my A record, which is here, the type, A record, um, for shepherdsloft.com, and there's my IP address. So it automatically tells me which, which IP address for which computer uh, is being used. And, um, and down here, reported by DNS2.stabletransit.com, that tells me which server um, that my website is being hosted on. So you can see you can you can cipher out a lot of valuable information using this uh, MX Toolbox uh, website. So those are those are A records, MX records, and your C names. You can check those as well. So if we want to go back and check uh, where my mail, so these can be separated again. If you're transferring your mail, your C name may differ, be different in your MX record. Um, until you've got your emails transferred. Um, so this says no record exists, so maybe I don't have one set up for this particular domain. Um, so, oh, I didn't DNS look up. Okay, sorry. We want to change to MX look up, or C name was what we were doing. Takes a second to find it in the list. Here it is down here. My cursor was right on it. Okay, so again, I didn't have one um, set up for there. It's being controlled by Stable Transit. So this is actually my name server right here, and that's important. So now I know that all of my DNS has been managed at this domain, at this, at this location by this provider. So what is managed hosting? Well. Uh, the same aspects as before, security. Um, so managed hosting is about automatically blocking, protecting, and removing viruses. Uh, this, is, this is very, very essential uh, because if you are not doing this and your website gets infected, then Google will automatically pick that up and then it'll post uh, a message out for everybody to see in the Google results that, hey, this site may be hacked. Um, and you don't want you don't want to discourage people from visiting your website. Um, support uh, this is the constant uh, upgrade and fixing and monitoring of your website. Again, you're you want to keep those upgrades going because that's going to make your website more secure. But sometimes things break, and that you know this is this is life. So then it's just a matter of um, fixing it, and that's how we find out is through monitoring. So by monitoring 24/7. Um, when we do an upgrade, if there's a there's a uh, if something breaks, then we can fix it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, you know, and the other aspects is the license management. Um, you know, it's very easy to forget to renew your domain or renew your hosting or 
you didn't put in your your plugin or themes um, API key or your you know username and password for that. Um, so we can we can manage all those aspects for you. Step two, okay, preparing for the file transfer. Um, preparing to transfer is about your domain or your emails or your website files uh, like your WordPress installation itself. So one of the things if you're looking to transfer your domain you're going to need to know about authentication code. Um, so the way this works is that uh, you request your authentication code and then you can give that um, or to the new provider that you're transferring to. Uh, without the code then you can't authorize uh, the ability to move the domain from one registrar to another. So, and uh, I didn't prepare a slide for this. I do have a little referral here. Um, so, if you are transferring to to GoDaddy or away from GoDaddy, I should say, um, you can just Google, you know, authorization code for GoDaddy, and it gives you very specific instructions on how to find that authorization code. So, you can log in your account manager. Um, you go to domains. Uh, you click on manage, um, and then in the additional settings, you click on authorization code link, um, and then you click email my code. Um, so what I would like to do is see if I can find you a graphic, uh, a picture that kind of shows you or represents uh, what we're talking about here. So I'm going to go to images, GoDaddy authentication code. So let's see, let's see if this picture here shows us. Okay, I don't. Again, I'm not sure if this one is 100% up to date. Um, it looks a little fuzzy, but um, you can see this. This says here's um, email. Email the code is probably what that says, and it, this definitely says authorization code over here. Let's see if we can find one that's a little more clear. Okay, here's one here. So again, authorization code sent by email. Okay. So if you are um, if you are preparing to transfer your WordPress website um, to another hosting provider, one of my favorite tools is the WP Move. I can show you that one. So it's a WordPress plugin, WP Move. So you can just Google that. It probably comes up at the top of the list. Here we are. So this uh, plugin has a built-in feature to be able to FTP your uh, your website from one location to another, which is which is pretty slick. Um, however, it's limited by the the size of your website, the size of your database, the size of your media media files. So, uh, the way I use the WordPress Move is that um, I install it, I do a just a, a database backup only, and then I'm able to um, download the entire website, uh, the the WordPress core files the include files, uh, your media files, um, everything together. And so we, with the themes and the plugins that I have, the WordPress Move puts the backup into the plugin folder. So when I download the entire thing, I'm downloading my backup as well. Um, if you don't have FTP access um, through the WordPress Move tool, um, you can actually you can do a full backup and then you can right click and save that full backup to your computer. Um, so once you have that, you can unzip it um, and then or you can email it to your new provider and you're ready to go. So once you get that uploaded into uh, your new hosting platform, um, it's really simple to go in and hit the restore button and restore your 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 website from the old provider. You know, migrating emails is a little is a whole other animal. Uh, it it's it's a bit tricky, um, but there's a great tool out there for that. I'll show you that um, that we've used. It's called BitTitan. 
uh, which is bittitan.com with two T's. Uh, this is it is very affordable. Uh, I believe it's only you know twelve something like twelve dollars or something per email box. Um, so you can set up your project and you can migrate your emails from one provider to the next. Um, I don't reckon, really recommend you doing this on your own, um, but just knowing um, that this can be done uh, is great. So there's a couple of different aspects. Um, if you if you only have like an IMAP or POP account, then you're probably only going to be able to transfer your emails um, or migrate your emails from one server to the next. Um, like if you wanted to go from Network Solutions to GoDaddy or from Network Solutions to uh, Google. Um, then, but if you have an exchange, then you have additional options. You may be able to transfer or migrate your contacts as well as all of your emails. So, but BitTitan is a great tool for for doing that. So, you know, preparatory notes. You know, as you, as we're going through this, and as you're preparing to, you know, either build your website for the first time or to. Uh, to migrate, you know, if maybe if you're just taking notes about, uh, maybe you're just taking an assessment of where um, where your online assets are, you know, where your domain is registered, where your DNS is management managed. Um, this is all very good information because, you know, like I said, if something goes wrong, then you kind of know where to look and who to go to uh, to get support. I mean, you can really waste a lot of time uh, not knowing, you know, because you didn't know where something was or who to contact um, so if you contact the wrong person and then they're gonna say well I'm, I'm not gonna help if you're lucky they might say hey well you know this is where this is who your registry is you need to contact them or this is your host or this is your email host then you need to contact this company so but you can kinda of bypass a lot of that um, administrative work by having this um, done up front so document everything that you do uh, save all your usernames and passwords. Um, there's um, uh, there are encrypted password protectors, uh, kind of like one passwords, an application that you can buy to save your passwords. Um, you know, but the best thing you can do is just rely on experts. You know, uh, get an expert to do what it is that you want to accomplish. Um, but just be informed about you know what you have and what you want to do with it. So. After you transfer your domain or your website, um, a good thing, go back and use the MX tools. Make sure, you know, verify that your MX records are where they're supposed to be, your A records are correct. Um, you know, uh, test your email accounts. Um, you know, make sure that they work. Um, check your C names. You know, test your, your contact forms. You know, make sure they're going to your email box, the right email box at your business. So step three is, um, you know, the majors, a major success series. I promised you earlier that I would show you a secret, and um, so here it is. Uh, you know, con cons consultation. Um, you know, hire a company, not an individual. You know, who will provide you with the technical support and knowledge that you need to get through the process. You know, a lot of people want to cut the budget on hiring a project manager. Uh, you know, but that's that's very essential to making sure that you get from start to finish. If you don't have a project manager or a consultant, you know, that's in charge of your project and contacting all your vendors and making sure that your project is going to the next step, then then you have a high rate of failure. Um, you know, and oftentimes if you're the business owner, you're you're busy with other things. Um, you know, the easiest thing you can do is get a consultant. Um, the second thing is, you know, get support. Um, you know, even if you just buy, if you can't afford a consultant, maybe you just want to buy us buy um, some support service. Uh, you know, that way you can, um, you know, you can ask them questions. Um, you know, get knowledgeable experts uh, through support that can point you in the right directions as, as you move along. So this is pretty simple, right? Um, now that you know 100% of the technical process and you've documented your current um, assets, you know this will increase uh, the chances of you stabilizing your website and um, successfully hosting your website, WordPress website. Uh, you just need the best WordPress managed hosting solution for small businesses. 
Our managed uh, solution will provide step-by-step, day-to-day support for all the technical aspects. Uh, it'll reduce your time fighting the hackers and spammers. Uh, and it'll save you money with um, integrated automated solutions. So this is our exclusive offer. Um, you get 10% off your next annual uh, hosting purchase. You know, depending on what level of package that you purchase is $44 or more. Um, you get free migration services. So for all the things that I've talked about today, uh, we're willing to do those for free. We will migrate um, your, your domain name, uh, we'll manage your DNS, uh, we'll, we'll migrate your WordPress website. So there's a $375 value there. Uh, and also uh, free a free security scan and virus removal. We're not going to we, we even have to do that before it even comes onto the new platform. We want to make sure that your website is 100% virus free or malware free before it goes on to our our uh, hosting service. And then we want to keep it that way. So we're going to get it clean and we're going to keep it that way. The bonus is, you know, I want to help you with your marketing. Uh, um, we will set up uh, a social follow and your share setup. So there's a couple of plugins or plugins that we can install on that. If you give us your, your Facebook link and your Twitter link, we'll put those in there and add it uh, to your website. So, you know, I didn't explain this earlier, but social follow is when you you post a link onto your website that links to your Facebook page um, so that people can go see you know what's what's going on, on your Facebook page a social a social share is when somebody can share uh, your web page onto their Facebook page or their Facebook account um, that gives you more exposure for uh, your your website so that's over $600 in savings and bonuses that you'll receive just for attending this webinar. This is offer is only good for the next 24 hours. Um, so here's some specific instructions for you. Uh, get a customized recommendation. Um, so you can see that at bit.ly slash shepherdsloft101. It's going to ask you some questions and it's going to provide you with kind of a financial decision on where you need to be with your, your managed hosting service provider based on what the purpose is of your website. So once you get your hosting recommendation, you can follow that a the specific link that you get to begin the checkout process. And then you can enter the uh, the provided 10% off discount. Um, again, the, the code is webinar101 um, is the discount code. So think about it. If you if you do nothing, um, you will stay stuck in the same situation. Um, but what if you take an action right now um, and fill out the form, uh, giving yourself the best possible chance to fortify your website hosting and get your business rolling? Uh, be confident in the fact that you will have the support you need to properly host your WordPress website. So click the button below to get your customer recommendation now. Again, this, this offer is only good for the next 24 hours. Um, and then after that, um, you finish the checkout process. We'll begin processing your order. It normally takes about 48 hours for our engineers to install and add the licensed products. Um, there's not this is not an automated process. Um, this is a very you know <laughs> our engineers will be working on that, so they don't usually work weekends. Um, so this is uh, so. And, and, and nor holidays so this is you know Monday through Friday 9 to 5 is our basic business hours so in one to two business days we'll have your new WordPress website installed and we'll put in all the licensed products um, that you need to uh, do your marketing so click on the link below and get started now again don't forget this is you know the next 24 hours four hours on it doesn't hurt anything to get this recommendation even if you don't have any money or you're not ready uh, just go ahead and fill out that uh, recommendation form so that you know that you know where you where you need to be what you need to do with your website so you know even if you're um, you're scared you don't think it's gonna work or you don't think you have the money or the time you know just just don't wait any longer uh, the longer you wait the more difficult the sooner that you can get your your website up and going the sooner you're gonna get some SEO results the sooner you're gonna get uh, get found online the quicker that you can build your business so again those specific instructions go to the customized recommendation um, 
get the customized recommendation for your hosting. Uh, that's at bit.ly slash shepherdsloft101. Uh, once you get your hosting recommendation, um, you'll get a link to for your purchase. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the si other side. Thank you very much for watching.